See, this is why I stay drinking these spinach smoothies. Hey loves, it's Avac on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. As you can tell today, we're talking about beauty and nutrition. I'm super excited to touch on this topic as there is so much going through my mind. So apologies in advance. I'm gonna go off the top and I might go over here, then there, and then come back here. But what I wanna say, we need to talk about this, okay? This gallon water TikTok challenge needs to go away. As some of you already know, I study nutrition as my undergrad and it's, it's a no. My professor specifically said, your body will let you know how much water you need and doing the most is actually detrimental. There are so many studies that prove drinking too much water can be harmful. So if you try to get glowy, radiant skin, I'm here for it, but just don't go OD with the water, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients you need to have long, strong, healthy hair and nails and glowy, radiant skin. Off the top, the most popular thing that you probably already know about, because it's a cult classic, is vitamin C. There's a reason why it's in every serum and lotion and this and that when you go to Sephora. It's proven to help with the radiance, boost balance, smooth out your skin, help with hyperpigmentation, why? Because it's jam-packed with antioxidants. I remember growing up, I thought vitamin C meant vitamin citrus, but it goes way beyond that. Almost every fruit and vegetable has a high content of vitamin C. My personal pick is berries. Talk strawberries, blueberries. Oh, so good. Same way I love putting spinach or kale in a smoothie because I'm not too fond of those is how I get my vitamin C throughout the day and it helps my skin glow. Talk about from the inside out. That's what we're talking about. The way I see it is, it's one thing to just put this stuff on your face topically. And I'm here for a good serum from Sephora, okay? Just make sure you're getting it in a tinted bottle. Cause those clear bottles, they don't tell you this, but you're never supposed to put vitamin C in a clear bottle because it's ineffective. When ingested, vitamin C is your major key to having radiant, glowy, dewy skin. Vitamin C is just everything. This next vitamin pairs well with vitamin C, vitamin E, aka tocopherol. You've seen it before, lotions infused with vitamin E or this added to that because it works. It is also an antioxidant, which means that it prevents free radical damage, think sun damage, warding off wrinkles, just signs of aging. Not only that, vitamin C and vitamin E work tirelessly in your body for cellular repair, much like the next vitamin, which is a controversial one, vitamin A. I say it's controversial because if you have star disease like me, don't go out and take supplements. It's gonna make your eye disease progress rapidly. But also don't take it out of your diet completely because you will notice it. And trust me, I have noticed it. What vitamin A does, it helps with cellular repair and restoration on all levels. So if you wanna have everything inside and out operating at high level, you need to have good amount of vitamin A and it's precursor beta carotene in your diet. This is what makes your skin truly glow, your hair healthy and luscious, and your nails ready for whatever the day has to offer you. If you're suffering from brittle, frail, thin nails, vitamin A, and also calcium, which we'll talk about in a bit. Same with the hair. If it's dry and damaged, probably needs up your vitamin A. If your skin is not skinning, vitamin A, trust me. More often than not, you're not intaking enough vitamin A. You can find vitamin A in a lot of fruits and veggies, same way you'd find vitamin C or vitamin E, which is in a lot of nuts. If I didn't mention that yet. There's so much going off in my head. I'm thinking about catechins, lutein's, lycopins. I need to just chill. Just bring it down on another level. Just. Ooh, omega threes. And you can add sixes to the mix, but not too much of it because it causes inflammation and we're not trying to do that. Omega threes, fatty acids from fish oils are incredible. They're not just good for your mind. I feel like we should do a complete video on that, but they're very good for healthy skin and hair. Think about it. Your body is built of building blocks like amino acids. So you need to replenish them as they're used. And a lot of times when we notice that something's not right with our skin, hair, nails, it's because we're not getting enough nutrients to eventually supplement the last thing. After all, your skin is your largest organ, right? But it gets everything last. So if you noticed that your skin is dry, you probably need more water, more vitamin A, more vitamin E. If it's not as radiant as it needs to be, more vitamin C. And that's how it goes. What I loved most about studying nutrition is how much it taught me about really listening and tapping into your body. There's also this thing called bioavailability. Let's talk about it real quick. Basically, if you eat an apple and I eat an apple, 
The nutrients are gonna be absorbed differently based on our gut bacteria, biochemistry, our genetic history, a whole myriad of reasons. And because of that, you really need to know yourself. I could sit up here and tell you a lot of things, but you gotta know your body and what's going on with it. Cause sometimes you eat something and it's not doing what it's supposed to do. A lot of times we think, just take a simple supplement. But if it's not jam packed with the right kind of nutrients, it's not gonna bind to the right receptors to do what it needs to do in your body. Think calcium and magnesium. Now I don't really do drinking milk. I'll have yogurt or pizza from time to time, but that's about it. So in order to get calcium, which you need for strong and long nails, I take a supplement. The supplement also has magnesium in it. As you may know, magnesium helps calcium absorb into the bone. Like I said, once your body gets internally what it needs, it starts to give externally. So that's how you know certain parts of your body will let you know what you're depleted of. Let's talk about this mineral for a minute, zinc. This is so underrated, very important for skin, or hair follicle health. Zinc, much like magnesium, is a mineral that is very efficient and effective in combination with other things. It provides a barrier to your skin. So if you find like you're dealing with a lot of hydration problems, you might need to up your zinc so that your skin can provide a natural barrier. And then you don't always have to go out and buy this cream or this whipped body butter, or this, that, and the next because your body is nourishing itself and then that's just an added effect. Best source of zinc is oysters. I know girl, I'm still trying to warm up to them too. I think I prefer the east over the west coast. If you like them, let me know which coast you prefer, but I'm still warming up to oysters. I've had a couple real good ones, but I can't just stay eating oysters all day, but there's a lot of other zinc sources. Lutein and lycopene, which you can find in veggies such as tomatoes, are so important for not just eye health, but skin and hair and nail health too. Nine times out of 10, what's good for your eyes is good for your body. But like I mentioned, if you have Stargus disease, some things kind of flippity flop. And when you really think about it, nutrition is just like any other science. One day they say this, the next they say this. It's very wishy-washy. So you have to stay on top of studies and research to know what's okay. But at the end of the day, like I said, you know you best, you know your body best. So keep that in mind, just be very observant figure out what your problem is and kind of troubleshoot it. If you feel like your hair is dry and brittle, more vitamin A. If you feel like your nails are thin and flaky, more calcium and protein, which protein. Now I'm very minimal with my meat. I probably have it once or twice a week. If you're vegan or vegetarian, I really hope that you're taking supplements or having things that have high protein content like nuts or soybeans because it is super essential, not just for your beauty, but for your body. After all, proteins and amino acids are the building blocks of so many components of your body. Saying this all to say that your hair is protein. I mean, it essentially is dead, but when it's in your scalp growing, you wanna make sure that you're nourishing it with protein and like I said, omega-3s, and that's why it's important to keep your scalp healthy. That's all I can think of today. I feel like there's a lot in my head and I don't wanna put out too much right now, so if you want a part two, let me know. Comment down below, and until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.